Hi everyone, my name is Nguyễn Lâm Thảo Tâm from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Today, I'm competing for EF Challenge on the topic, Do you believe everything is impossible? Hmm, do you realize that we live and grow by the stories of others? The stories of exceptional intelligence, of amazing achievements, of how Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, of how Isaac Newton discovered the three laws of physics. We go through our lives listening to these motivational stories, and yet, have you ever stopped to imagine that up there in the lights could be you, and you too could do the impossible? Now, I don't want to tell you about the stories of others, the stories of the greats, the stories of success and achievement you must have heard a hundred times over. I want to tell you about a little survey I've done at my school, LSTS, on dreams. In four days, I've invited students ages from 11 to 18 to answer an online question poll asking them about aspirations. In just four days, I've managed to get 250 plus responses that could be split into three categories. Very positively, 74% of my respondents said that yes, they have what it takes to complete their dreams. When asked what those dreams were, it was a range from learning an instrument, becoming a businessman, to becoming president and being featured on Forbes. A seventh grader tugged on my heartstrings when he said he wanted to build a system of villas around the world so that the less fortunate could stay at it as a care home after he passed away. Such a great gesture and such a good deed it was, and it seems so impossible that a 12-year-old had thought of it. This comes to show that with good heart, good thoughts, and belief, we could bring such positivity to the world. Our next 20%, however, thought that they didn't have what it takes to complete what they wanted. The three options for why was lack of patience, lack of support, and the dream itself being unrealistic. The last 6%, however, were completely different. They say that they have no dream whatsoever at all. This would be due to the educational system where I live. Vietnam and Asia at large is very, how do you say, um, biased towards academic achievements so that we overuse rote learning and mm, tedious, tedious extra classes. This results in lack of time and lack of energy. The three reasons for why they quit their dreams or don't have any, they're too busy to think of one. They don't think dream is necessary. And they just think studying so much is enough already. You can't complete greatness without no, without energy and without trust. Fight for an even schedule and balance yourself out. When you're four years old, you'd sit still because your parents told you to. When you're nine years old, you sit still because your teachers told you to. When you're 12 years old, you sit still because all of your friends are doing it. And for the rest of your life, you sit still because that's all you have ever known. It is true that the ones around us affect our actions and is our main moral support. But never be afraid to set yourself apart. Be reasonable, but be unique. And remember, asking for help is always okay. The impossible, it gets hard. Have you ever read a work of fiction and wanted to become the main hero who saves the day? Have you ever listened to someone speak and felt so inspired you just wanted to do something for this world? You can. The impossible is less impossible than you think. Start writing your own story. I'll be here waiting and eager to listen.